person of the AI DMK. So we've uh, put the DMK and the Congress on the one side and the BJP and the ADMK on the other side, even though they are not formally tied up for this election. So let me start from my right. Uh, Lakshmi Ramachandran, the BJP is saying and you know the Prime Minister has been campaigning here. It was his eighth visit uh, this week and he's going to be here again on the weekend. They are saying that the time is ripe for a third alternative here in Tamil Nadu and that third alternative they believe is the Lotus or the BJP. Why do you believe that's not the case? Good evening everyone. The Prime Minister can come how many ever uh, times he wants, you know. After all, you know, Tamil Nadu is part of India. So he is welcome to come. He can try, but Lotus will never bloom in Tamil Nadu. I'll tell you why. See, this election is about saving democracy and people of Tamil Nadu understand it better than anybody else. Uh, the, 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 the entire, the ethos of I India are at stake here. Uh, the uh, institutions of democracy are captured. We have the principal opposition party which is being paralyzed by, you know, all, by all means, you know, our bank accounts are uh, being frozen. Uh, the uh, opposition uh, CMs, uh, they are jailed on some frivolous reasons, you know, the cases that are fabricated against them. And they are trying to paralyze democracy just before, paralyze the opposition parties just before a crucial election. Well, so people of Tamil Nadu understand is what is happening. You are so, campaigning, your candidates are fighting, we are having live shows here. So how are you saying democracy is stifled? Uh, the Prime Minister has come, I mean, you, you, you turn on any TV, you, how many times do you see BJP ads and how many uh, times do you see the uh, opposition uh, parties uh, ads? Okay. Uh, you open any newspaper, look at their full page ads and whereas, you know, we are able to give only, you know, small, small uh, That's snippets. Because you have uh, no money. Exactly. So that okay. is but but the people are with us. People understand that uh, you know democracy is at stake. Okay. Our state rights are at stake. We have a governor sitting here who okay. does not so, sign the so bill passed by let, elected let members me, of the assembly. Let me ask, let me ask the other side. Uh, democracy is at stake. State rights are at stake. Mr. Tripathi, what are you doing? What is the BJP doing? See, the court yesterday has very clearly said what Arvind Kejriwal has done and the court has refused to grant whatever he has. So, it's very clear it is not the BJP or the government or the ED which is trying to, you know, create a sort of uh, problem. But it is the Arvind Kejriwal's government which has created a problem and these people are crying for and in fact, uh, Lakshmi Ramachandra was saying that, you know, uh, opposition leaders are arrested. Why? Because the Congress gave the complaint. Congress only raised this complaint. Congress gave everything and because of that, Arvind Kejriwal is in the jail. And so many leaders of uh, the so-called Indi Alliance, even uh, Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, so many people are in uh, bail who should have been in jail. No, but Mr. Tirupati, as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, the BJP, and this is, you know, factual, you can go back and check election after election, BJP on its own has never crossed 4 or 5% vote share. Why should the people of Tamil Nadu believe that this time is different? Yeah, see, in 2014, we had around 19% votes. In, in the entire alliance. Yeah, that, Not individually. Yeah, yeah, individually yeah, yeah. Yeah. But in 2014, uh, DMK had zero. But 2019, the D DMK got, uh, you know, 38. No problem. See, the election after all, you know, it is a game. It is they definitely, you know, uh, we, will, we know that in the last four years, we have developed our organizational structure. There are a lot of changes in Tamil Nadu. In the last three years, the DMK government has failed, miserably failed. Even the roads are not there in Tamil Nadu. The basic facility, basic things, the DMK has not provided. So, uh, no, no employment, no industrial um, uh, growth happening in Tamil Nadu. So many things. So, we have taken everything to the public. We have taken everything to the Tamilians. And definitely, we are very sure, okay. under the leadership of the young, dynamic Mr. Annamalai, we are going to make I, a silent revolution in Tamil Okay, I, I'll come to that in one second. I'll just talk about the roads, Saranan, with yes. no offense to the DMK, the ruling yeah. party here. I grew up in this city. I've been, you know, coming off and on for the last 20 years since I moved out of the city. For the first time, I happen to be in a hotel that is on one of the arterial roads in this city. It's called uh, the Nugambakam High Road. For the first time in my life, Saranan, mm -hmm. that road, half of it is one way, the other half of it is other way middle part of the road is no way. What is going on? 
see, to answer your question with regard to the roads, that is because of the metro rail project. An ambitious project brought into the city by the UPA government. When we were in alliance with the uh, Congress in 2008, we brought the metro rail. The first phase is completed and people of Chennai are enjoying that. And, and now, with the same metro rail, the second phase is going on, which was earlier approved by the UPA. Now, the union government, the BJP government is refusing to give funds. You are complaining about one way, one way, the other way. The problem with that is that we do not want that to be a failure. We don't want those trenches dug to remain that way until the funds got. So, the leader, our leader, the Chief Minister, Mr. M.K. Stalin, released 9,000 crores in the last year. The union government did not give us funds. Next year, he has allocated another 12,000 crores because we don't want to wait for the union government to act, the BJP government to act, because we know they won't. Because no, no, they but, but point is, Arunan, yes. how long will the people have to wait? Because people are being inconvenienced. Yes. Do we have to wait till 2026, yes. 2027, yes. 2028, 2026, 2026. See, you are giving an assurance by 2026 that, is the that part the of the metro no, will no, no, Yes, let me, let me finish this. This is not the first city which had been inconvenienced because of the metro. Delhi, we all know how people were inconvenienced when the metro rail start project started okay. and how after the completion of the project, everybody is enjoying the fruits of the metro rail. Okay. That is the point here. And, and now, when, we, when you, you are asking another pertinent question, how will the BJP bloom here? Will BJ, how many seats will the BJP get here in the state of Tamil Nadu? Our leader, Mr. M.K. Stalin, has the answer. He says, the Prime Minister says, I love Idli, I love Pongal, I love Vada, I love Tamil. But you don't love the people of Tamil Nadu. You are not giving us funds. See, but there he's was come a here ravaging eight, he's flood. Come here there was a ravaging flood. Let he's come here more than any other Prime Minister What's has. What's the point? What's the point, uh, Zaka? Let him come any number of times. That is what our leader, Mr. Udenevi, says. Let him here. Let him be stationed here for the next two years. Unless he does something for the people of Tamil Nadu. Okay. Some, some tangible. Very we don't want your flowery words. We are, we are sick and tired okay. of your rhetoric. Very quickly, this Mr. is what. No, 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 let me, let me finish this. That, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, let, 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 let him respond. No, no, let, let, respond. let him mm. respond to this also. See, we all know the people of Chennai, they have been ravished by this flood. We have been asking for a relief measure. The union government has 58,000 crores in the NDRF fund. Mm. We want money. They say, we won't give you money. Okay. Okay, See, let him respond to that and then I'll go See, to Apsara. In, yeah. in the last 10 years, it is 11 lakh crores which the center has given for the infrastructure growth in Tamil Nadu. Let Saravanan say there is no infrastructure growth, there is no need for them to stay in the government. They claim that the Tamil Nadu has grown leaps and bounds in the last so many you know, um, uh, efforts. Definitely, this would not have been possible. So, okay. unnecessarily, politically, they are trying to target. It is not that. Number one. Number two is that... As far as the SDRF is concerned, this is the highest amount which the central government has given, 900 crores, 900 crores plus 561 crores for the Chennai flood relief fund which has been no. given totally 1,461 crores. Wait, Saravanan, Saravanan, wait, 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 don't get tense, don't get tense. I am telling you the facts and Mr. Stalin has very clearly said that he has, uh, uh, the government has spent 3,468 crores for this relief and he has saved the people of Tamil Nadu. Okay. Out of which the uh, central government has given already 1,500 crores, which I have stated. And the entire uh, system knows, the system is that all the funds required by the state government will be given through the respective departments or respective ministers. Okay. It, it is common, it is law, it is system. So you are trying to politicize something which is okay. not there. That okay. is wrong. So le le before I come back to the, the guests on, on my right, I want to bring in Apsara Reddy because, you know, till some time back, these two and their parties used to be together. Now you are not. Now no one quite knows why because the prevailing feeling, and we did a show last night called Citizens Manifesto. I want to tell all our political spokespersons here and our new audience here that a uh, prevailing view amongst the citizens was had the BJP and the ADMK tied up, Perhaps you would have given a challenge to the DMK and the Congress. Perhaps you would have been in the race, you would have competed. Now the question that's being asked is, why is ADMK in this race? It's not like Mr. Le EPS, your leader is going to be Prime Minister or that he's going to be Kingmaker. So what is your pitch to the voters in Tamil Nadu? Why are you in the fray? Why are you in the race? Why should they vote for you? I think AIDMK as a party stands on its own 
deliverables, what we've delivered as in government. I think with the BJP, when we were in, st when we were in power in the state, the central state relationship together, I think Yadda Party sir performed very well and brought a lot of welfare measures. Even during Corona time when we had no income, we delivered on all the promises. We gave free groceries, people had free meals to eat. Even when we had the biggest of floods, we delivered. I think Yadda Party sir stands on his governance and I don't think um, our alliance with the BJP determines anything for AIDMK because AIDMK was the party which you know, gave identity to BJP in Tamil Nadu. They have four MLAs in the assembly because they were with they had truck with AIDMK. So why are you that not is with no them? longer there. Why are you and not I'm with them I want to also um, speak about uh, Mr. Saravanan who spoke about, um, you know... No, no, before that, why are you not with them now? I think for us, our ideology is about standing up for state rights. And I think when we're in alliance and we have alliance dharma, it becomes very difficult to stand up for state rights when we're with a party in the center, which does not really understand the sentiment of Tamil Nadu. Okay. I think it makes sense more, more for us, listening to our cadres and the people of Tamil Nadu, not to have truck with the BJP. Okay. I want to uh, go across to the audience if I can. I'll try and ask uh, our producers if we can uh, uh, get a question or two out of the audience for our political panel here, but before we, before we do that, you know, Sarun, on the point yes. that, that, that Mr. Tirupati made, that look, you can't go and ask for 37,000 crores, 50,000 crores, Tamil Nadu is not the only state that has had floods. Floods have happened in Bengal, in Bihar, in UP, central government has to look after all the states, not just one state. See, you are right. Maybe you are right. See, we should not ask 37,000 crores or 31,000 crores, but that is the estimate prepared by the state bureaucrats. The officer said this is the estimate, but the thing is this. So we have asked for 37,000 crores. I think it was 31,000 crores. What has the BJP government given us? Give us at least a pittance. As an interim measure, we wanted 2,000 crores. Why? You have not released it. See, when we wanted it, you said, no, no, no. Please don't make such requests. There is a procedure for that. What is that procedure? A committee uh, from the union government will visit. They will assess the floods. They will give the report. Based on that report, we will give you the money. Okay. That committee had come here. I said, like and, and to top it off all, you know what did the committee say? They said that the state government handled the funds, floods in an excellent <laughs> manner. There it was absolute like cooperation that. between exactly. the authorities. Okay. This, okay. Is the, this is the encomium given by the I, I state government. I want, so to expand. Say, uh, I, I want to expand it from beyond just the floods and, and the city because we have a political panel and obviously, you know, Chennai at the end of the day is three seats, the remaining 36 seats are from outside the city. So let's try and get the, the panel. Let's get, try and get the audience to ask some questions to the panel. Purnima, my colleague, is there, our uh, Chennai correspondent for CNN News 18. Yes, Purnima, go ahead. Role of ED, CBI, or all other things, I do not belong to any party. First, I would like to clarify. All the parties, whether ruling party or opposition party, whenever things uh, doesn't go well for them, they say they are harassing. It is a political vendetta, all this. Uh, at the same time, when their opponent is uh, arrested and is put, they say justice provided. So everything is uh, going okay. well. So let Mr. Lakshmi Ramachandran answer that first. Yeah. With all due respect, I want to ask you what happened to the case against Mr. Ajit Pawar, what happened to the case against uh, Suvendu Adhikari, uh, against uh, Himantu Biswas and all the people who crossed over from the opposition parties on whom there were charges of corruption, who crossed over to BJP. What happened to the cases? Why were the cases closed? So BJP is the biggest washing machine in India which cleanses all parties. You know, we, in a way we have to be uh, thankful. You know, we, all the opposition parties have to be thankful because, you know, whatever little bit, you know, the corrupt elements that uh, exist in our parties, they are, uh, they are being cleaned out of our party. They no, are but, all but, joining but this, uh, madam, oh, madam, this uh, how can you, how big can you, uh, ocean. No, no, once again, how can you explain <laughs> this week, just this past week, the court of law, the Delhi High Court looked into Arvind Kejriwal's matter and said, there is enough material that I'll convinces answer. the court that he was part of the conspiracy. I'll answer the that. court is saying this, I'll not answer. BJP, not, not Mr. Narayan. I'll, I'll answer that. I'll answer that. Yeah. I'll answer that question. Hmm. See, in the same Supreme Court, in the same liquor scam, what did it say with regard to the Manish Sisodia's bail plea? They said, two minutes of cross-examination, your evidence will crumble like a pack of cards. This was the observation when Manish Sisodia's bail plea came, and they dismissed it. Finally, you know what they said? There is a tentative money trail established. What do you mean by tentative? That it is proved or not provable. 
This is one thing. This is one thing. Let me finish. And Sanjay Jain's bail. Yes. Two days, three a week back, Sanjay Jain, another AAP leader, was released on bail. You know what the Supreme Court said? You have no evidence against him. How can you no, put no, him no, inside no, the prison no, for no, six months? No, no. Okay. ED, ED ran away from Mr. the court. Mr. The enforcement director no, no, ran away. No, no, just a minute, no, no, let no, me finish this. No, ran away from the court. No, 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 I, I want to bring it back. Let me finish this. Yeah, yeah. Let me okay. finish this. They ran away from the court and they took permission because they don't want to be exposed by the Supreme Court. They don't want an adverse order from the Supreme Court. That is why they said yes. We will allow Sanjay Jain to be released on bail, but don't make it as a president. Okay. That no. is the president. No, no, once again, I, I, want no. I want to bring it back. I want to bring it back. Once again, once again, I want to bring it back to Tamil Nadu because we are here in Chennai. We are coming live to you. This whole thing about corruption, whether it is selective use of agencies, so on and so forth, is an issue that's relevant here as well. So I want to ask Mr. Narayan Tirupati, whether it is a Sendhil Balaji or a Mr. Periyasamy or a Mr. Punmudi, the opposition is saying that you guys are using the agencies uh, un disproportionately against the opposition and whether it is for Suvendu Adhikari, Himanta Biswa, etc. who joined the BJP, you are like a washing machine. See, first of all, uh, this washing machine I will uh, clarify. Yes, BJP is a washing machine. In, uh, from to, uh, 1999 to 2004, DMK was in that washing machine. No charges. <laughs> okay. No BJP charges. Came with the no, no charges. You okay. That. There was you no corruption. That. You BJP is a washing machine. Saravana, don't get tense. Saravana, don't get tense. Saravana, please don't get tense. BJP is definitely a washing machine, sir. 99 and 2004. The phrase of the shopping, shocking, sir. You're accepting the washing machine. Once again, ma'am, let me finish. I'll come back. I'll come back. Don't get tense. Let me finish. I'll come back to you. Let him finish. Okay, don't get tense. No, no, so you are saying... That 2G did not happen when DMK yes. was with BJP. Yes. 2G happened yes. when DMK was with I, Congress. I, 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 am, I am giving certificate to DMK, sir. When they are with the BJP, there is no scam because it was Atal Bigari Vajpai. Okay. He was controlling. Now it is Narendra Modi. He is controlling. He will never allow uh, scams to happen. We have to see this. And what DMK has done has destroyed the country, that destroyed the state. Scams after scams. As far as your question is concerned about Sandil Balaji hmm. and uh, Ponmudi and uh, Periyasami, all these were in the courts. Okay, it is not the BJP which has done. It was the state government, state police which has done, not the CBI or ED. And as far as Sandil Balaji is concerned, it was the chief minister, now chief minister, the then opposition leader who said he was an extortionist. It was Mr. Stalin okay. who, said, who said that he was a fraud. Okay. And now okay. after becoming Chief Minister, he is sitting in Karur and saying that even if he is in jail, Sindhil Palaj is in jail, okay. his uh, blessings are uh, there uh, for the DM. Apsara, Apsara. Talking about Tamil Nadu, because we are talking about Tamil Nadu elections, we need to realize that the DMK has not delivered on any promise, be it 1000 rupees for women, be it flood management. Look at the social media, look at the news headlines, what has the DMK done? The brazenness with which the MLA's answer that this is how it's going to be, this is how we will operate. And when they say they have no money to give dole and they blame the BJP, they have money to uh, uh, erect a statue for Mr. Karuna in the middle of the sea for 82 crores. They have, to, they have money to kind of redo the race tracks in the middle of the city for 42 crores. They have money for the chief minister's family to travel to Dubai and conduct a chess competition here with the waste of public money when they can't give uh, the welfare measures promised by them in the election manifesto. Okay. Let's, get, yeah. let's get more audience questions. Uh, yeah, the young lady there. Yes, go ahead. Yes, um, good evening, panelists. I'm Shreya Shri from Loyala College. I'm an aspiring politician myself, so amazing to see all of you. So my question is very general. I'm going to be a first-time voter. And my question is, I think politics has become a, uh, everything has become politics, be it sentiments, be it anything, everything and everything. Politics is about pulling each other's leg now, and that's how I view politics as a Gen Z, uh, you know, citizen. But my question is, it's high time, I believe, that we change the narrative of elections to attract the youth, especially because there's a huge difference between my dad and my mom and between me. There's a huge generation gap. And I believe the parties should, you know, change their narrative and attract the youth more. Instead of talking about what have they done wrong and what have they done right, I believe we should start okay. what we have to do. I think that's a great question. Uh, let me ask this uh, to Saranan because yes. there are, I think, 1.8 or 1.9 crore first-time yes. voters in the 2024 election. The BJP's pitch is, and this is Mr. Anamalai's pitch as well, that the young voters are sick and tired of your, you know, ADMK, DMK, DMK, ADMK, revolving door politics, that for the first time in Tamil Nadu, the BJP is genuinely offering an alternative. Why shouldn't young voters like this lady here pick that alternative? Yeah, see, uh, that's a very, very uh, pointed question. 
See, the young voters are sick and tired, not of ADMK and DMK. They are sick and tired of not getting a job after they have completed their education. What did the Prime Minister promise in 2014? Two crore jobs every year for the youth. We were the much-touted demographic dividend, where the number of youth across all the countries in the whole world, India was the highest, and they said, we will uh, harvest that, and we will ensure that India goes to a much higher place economically and uh, every other sphere. But what has happened? We have seen job losses which was there like unlikely seen in the last 50 years. We have travelled 50 years back. Now coming to the DMK, what have we done? We have ensured that a scheme called a non-Mudalvan scheme, the Prime Minister's upskilling scheme, compare this with the uh, Skill India program here last year. 18,000 students from arts and science courses across the government colleges were provided with job opportunities because they have upskilled, just not only their education, they have upskilled and they have been provided with job opportunities in MNCs. This is not some, just okay. the data I am just throwing up, this is reported, much reported and 18,000 people have been benefited because of this non mudalvan skin and, and 6 to 12th year, 12th standard students who have studied in a government school, every girl child is getting a thousand rupees stipend when they go to a college. This ensures that every child has access to education. When they go to college, they, it is ensured okay. that they will complete their, quick, quick, complete yeah, their yeah, schooling, quick, complete quick, their quick, college. Quick, so this, one, is, quick, this, quick, is yeah. what, this is what okay. should quick, entice quick, the first time quick, water. Quick, quick response. And this think, will uh, entice the first time water and they will vote for DMK. And then I will take a break after that. it is wonderful that a young girl has asked this question. I think it is wonderful that it is a woman asking the question. I think the most important thing to change the narrative of politics and especially for youth is education. I think any leader who can plan a great infrastructure for education and also entry points for people from the rural areas to enter so-called, for example, NEET, 7.5% that we bought in, or the medical colleges, or the arts and science colleges, or upgrading the classroom, smart classes, I think that's the way we can empower youth to okay. understand policy better. Oh, sir, 10 seconds, I have to take a break. Yeah. It was the Narendra Modi's government which has doubled the medical colleges in the last 10 years, which has doubled the medical seats. In Tamil Nadu, it's in the last party, sir, was bought in no, 11 no, medical I don't, colleges. I, I see, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm adding to your uh, points. So it was the Narendra Modi's government that it has had more, you know, uh, doubled the uh, medical seats. And okay. it is the Narendra Modi's government which has in, uh, doubled the number of universities in India. So we need to understand, we need to understand that, yes, what Apsara said is right. We have to concentrate on education, health. And that is why uh, the uh, okay. insurance... In sir, no, I have to take a break, sir. I have to take a break, please. Just 10 seconds. Yeah. In 2006, our great leader, Dr. Kalanjar, said, every district in the state of Tamil Nadu will have a medical college. And when does the Prime Minister speak about this? In what 2017. Okay. In I have to take a break. So I have to take a break. Please hold your horses. One ahead. second. I have to Double take a break. I have to take a break. One second. Ahead. One second. Thank you. Thank you. I have to take a break. I have to take a break. When When we come back, when we come back, we will talk about there seems to be a disconnect between what the voters on the other side are asking for and what the politicians seem to be focusing on in campaign season. It is about Kache Tivu, it's about Sanatan Dharma comments. Are those issues relevant to the people of Tamil Nadu and to the people of Chennai? We'll have that conversation right on the other side of this quick break. Tune in and keep tuning in to this special show that we're coming to you live from Chennai where we're talking to the voters and they're asking direct questions to their political representatives. So our first story today is a rather special one. It's one that we discovered right here in our backyard in Noida. Just a few minutes away from our studios is a special little school where you have hundreds of students who are going to be receiving education. This is students with lesser access. Each batch is about 40 students large. They make the yummiest meals from scratch. Just close your eyes, imagine balushai, chow mein, fluffy bread rolls. 
अरे होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन टोया स्टॉप गेटिंग कैरेट अवे बाय द फूड खबर क्या है ये भी तो बता दें अपने व्यूअर्स को इट्स नॉट जस्ट द फूड ऑफ कॉर्स दी स्टूडेंट्स आर टॉट हाउ टू इन्विजन न्यू बिजनेस मॉडल्स फ्रॉम स्क्रैच राइट फ्रॉम आइडिएशन टू एग्जीक्यूशन दिस लिटल अकेडमी फाइंड ईगर स्टूडेंट्स इट ट्रेन्स दैम एंड देन इट प्लेस दैम इन टू एम्प्लॉयमेंट सो इट्स एन एंड टू एंड प्रोग्राम so we're super excited to get to know how so many young people were getting this kind of training so they could essentially be entirely self reliant in just a span of a few months sometimes 3 sometimes 4 based on the course it led us to take a deep dive as we discovered the kind of efforts that we've been seeing going on in the field of skill development mm. across the country over the last few years that's right and it's much needed no because india there are about 808 million youth young people below the age of 80 below the age of 35 and data suggests that mm. only about 5% of them are formally trained what that means is that you sometimes have even graduates who aren't prepared for how competitive the job market really is the tricky thing is i mean you and i both know the job market is a terrifying place if you're a young person Now the great thing is that this is something that government after government has tried to work on over the last few years. The Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana was launched in 2015, so a few years ago, and it had one goal: skilling the entire country. Because for most young Indians, the the tricky part, paying for building employability, which means paying. Welcome back. Uh, we're coming to you live from Chennai where in about a week's time the city and the state will be voting in the first phase of elections. There seems to be a disconnect between what the voters really want and what the politicians are talking about on the campaign trail. There are issues like the Kachati issue which is from 50 years ago. There is uh, the Sanatan Dharma comment. So let me ask Mr. Narayan Tirupati, are these the issues that voters of Chennai, voters of Tamil Nadu really care about? Yes, because I uh, you know the DMK and the Congress which was responsible for handing over kachatheev to sri lanka each and every time every year every month they are saying that they will retrieve kachatheev you gave it and you say that you want it and they say that bjp has not done anything this is what the uh, both the dmk the and the congress have now the congress says that it is irrelevant kachatheev is irrelevant the congress and dmk says it is irrelevant but, but it happened in 1974 yeah, why it is it relevant in 2024 let it be, so let it be. kachatheev is important we say Okay. We also say that we have been. It was Mr. Vajpayee who fought for this. It was Mr. Janakeshwar Murthy who went to the court. So the DMK has to apologize to the people of Tamil Nadu. Okay, let Lakshmi Ramachandran quickly respond, and then I'll go back to the audience. Yeah, the quickly. You gave away an, a strategic island. The issue is nothing was given away. Kachatheev was an island. Yeah. Between Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So Sorry. you are saying there was a visible difference there between was a visible 2015 difference. and 2023? Yes, I will tell you. Okay. This time, 2023, the rains were more than the 2015 okay. rains. And people have been, and let us understand one basic common thing, the stormwater drainage, which has a capacity of handling only 25 centimeter of rain. But unfortunately, this time we had a rain of more than 48 centimeter, if I'm okay. not wrong. Okay. So just imagine how will that handle it. Okay, so let me ask Apsara, because your government was in power in 2015, this gentleman here says in 2023 it was much better than what it was in 2015. Sir, I, I'm, I'm sorry you had to have that experience, but that has been a singular experience of yours, because overall landscape of media coverage and social media coverage, and even if you look at Twitter or X, as they call it now, you can understand the sentiments of 2023 were far graver than what was in 2015, but I do empathize with you. But also talking about the issues, which Karchativa and Sanatan Dharma, I think the main issue is price rise. The main issue is gold loan not being waived. The main issue is student loans not being waived, which is what our leader is talking about. The main Adipada Vasadi in Solangalia, Adipada, Adi Matatla Makkal, the grassroot level, people are suffering because of price rise, because of bus fare hike, because of taxation on increase on property no, but the tax, DMK on water saying tax, they on made bus fare, uh, Apsara, the DMK is saying they made bus fare free but for women. No buses, Where are the buses? There, there are no buses. Are the buses. No you buses. can make bus fare free, but there water, are no buses. Water tax has increased. Electricity bills have increased, let, let it, and let they promised to. They, yeah. When yeah. they were in power, when they were in power, they said when bus, we gave bus fare is free, but there are no buses. Dhaka, no buses. Dhaka, one second. See, yeah. No, let the let main, the main. No, Tamil Nadu is a, a, a state of festivals and culture. Pongal, when we gave 2,500, Mr. Stalin said, please give 5,000. Was he able to give 2,500? No, they will okay. never deliver on the promises. Okay, Saranan. Yes, Zaka. See, uh, they are speaking about the uh, buses. 445 crore trips was the number of trips that have been taken by the women in the state of Tamil Nadu ever since the scheme has been announced in the last two years. So what are the will statistics been, on gold loan? Mr. Saravanan, what are the statistics on gold loan? Forty years people have taken the let let loan. I was listening to you. I was listening to you. Please listen to me. So if this kind of trips have been made, is it because there were no buses flying? No, you no, no, but, 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 but tell me, how many buses have you increased in the last uh, three years that you've been definitely in Definitely, no, more number of, I don't have the data, but no. definitely, I have given you the number of trips taken by the women. They, okay. You go and ask on the road, let's, how many let's people ask, have been let's ask, a, Zaka, let's ask a lady member of the audience, how, have, because the previous show that we did last night, Citizens Manifesto, one of the things that uh, the citizens said was this thousand rupees for women is something that is a, a big trump card for the DMK. Do you believe as a woman voter of Tamil Nadu, as a woman citizen of Tamil Nadu, that DMK is doing more for women than Jalalitha did or than what BJP is promising to do? Hi, I am Vandana Sivaraman and uh, yes, a little I, louder, def I, I definitely do believe that uh, this thousand rupees is definitely making a huge difference among the Absolutely. people who are uh, uh, needing it. Those for whom that thousand rupees per month makes a difference in their lifestyle. Okay. They definitely are feeling uh, very, very comfortable with that. A few people are successfully able to save. For few people, it's, uh, to, it goes towards their medicines. And especially the free buses. Uh, there are, uh, you know, people who work as house helps in our apartments who come from quite far off because the rent, they are not able to afford the rent in, in around in our city, area. Yeah. So they have to move. This free bus pass has given a significant change. It has saved a lot of money and I can attest to it because I personally hear them telling that thankfully because of this, yes, they do have to, uh, you know, go through the crowded buses and uh, sometimes it so happens that uh, especially during these uh, uh, special buses times and all, they I think they divert the buses to the, uh, okay. for, for our muscle and all those things, they kind of suffer. That is there for a few period of days, but otherwise these free buses, okay. it is making us... No, 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 no here you have a woman who is saying that's Zaka, benefiting people. Yeah, that's what. See, I had been on a campaign last week to Trinalveli, Tengasi, Virudhanagar, all these constituencies. I'm telling you, I promise you, people there, particularly women said, what do you want, what, do, what, is, there, what is there lacking in here? They say that we don't have buses. I promise. That is what, that is what has happened in Tamil Nadu. There are no buses. There are no buses. Yes, 
there are no roads yes there is no drinking water saka we have we no, no, have we have you know we have dal jeevan mission we have dal jeevan mission there is no water there is no water in villages you talk about city man we spoke about but revdi revdi a voter is saying or revdi is actually good sir again i am telling you if what she says for the those who need it yes okay correct but what they have done out of 40 lakhs they give only 13 lakhs where is the education loan by one question where, where, where is the education where is the education loan education they said they will the wave of education loan have you did it okay. have you done it for last 3 years i have a quick call let let her let her 30 seconds ma'am i completely agree with you that it helps these women get that wherever mr udayanidhi stalin goes or wherever mr the dmk candidates are going people are saying why haven't i got the 1000 rupees they are saying you're not eligible for it when no, they ask the DMK, for, one second when they are asking for the votes they are asking all women for votes but when mr kadir anand one of their mp candidate says you're looking beautiful you're putting fair and lovely on you put powder on me, you put malli one more sir is working that's the right way to deal okay. with it okay. and okay. Mr. Okay. Okay. one more sir one more sir you went yeah. free in buses yeah. because yeah. of what happened to the tripod case what happened to the tripod case no no one second ma'am ma'am ma please please heal. no 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 you ask the question it's not a this is not a sparring this match yeah let the congress speak no no why don't you let the congress speak it's called the urimai absra one second yeah let let the congress speak person respond yeah No, no. The state government has named it in a very right, apt manner. It's called the Urimai Togai. Urimai means rights. It is your right. It is you, the taxpayers' money that is going back to them. So calling it uh, revdi is an insult to the taxpayers. Number one. Number two. You know, uh, Madam explained about how it is useful to the individual women. And think of a community. Think of a village. It is like the drip irrigation system. You know, every month they get thousand. In a okay. uh, in a village of twenty houses, that is like. Twenty thousand rupees to the you know the pool the village pool okay. which means the entire village economy is revived you know you I, get you go buy I more which means I, the store I, I is talking more you are you know triggering triggering demand so that is what it does yeah. to the local one, one economy drip irrigation started man, after yeah. three years yeah yeah young man there wants to ask a question yes I'm coming to the concluding uh, part of the program yeah so I have two questions like with the DMK spokesperson and both with the BJP spokesperson yeah one question. So uh, in the news itself, it seems that DMK uh, uh, he is claiming that there is no chance for BJP, there is no turnout of votes, no seat winning. But it seems that all the politicians of DMK keep attacking the centre or Modi government or BJP government. So if they are not even in this, why they are considering? Why they are afraid so of them? So who is the race uh, in Tamil Nadu, uh, Sarvanan? Is it with? ADMK is it with BJP? I mean, why are you attacking the centre and the BJP yeah, if yeah. they are not even going to open their account here? Yeah. See. the fight is between the dmk and the admk the admk the fight is because they are have they have a well trenched organizational support here and they also have this powerful two leaf symbol let it be eps ops or any xyz so you acknowledge But, no, that no 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 the, absolutely there's no doubt about that and you ask me why we attack the first the BJP? time a dmk yes. spokesperson is saying that two leaves is a powerful symbol absolutely. i guess absolutely we have always I guess, acknowledged I guess that, that we have, that we have always acknowledged that we have always acknowledged that and and why are we attacking the bjp because it is the bjp which is ruling the central government moment which is the it is the bjp which is betraying the state of tamil nadu aims every other aims 15 aims they promised every other aims is built it is the only in the state of tamil nadu they have okay. just allocated 18 crores and again there is no difference between admk and bjp so long they were in bed with the bjp now they come and say no 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 we have compre- we have uh, no, stayed no, away from just, bjp no no sir, no, sir, no, sir, no, no. Second, let me finish second. let me finish you this. just said yes. you just said two leaves is a powerful symbol absolutely yeah, right absolutely so the corollary means that the leaves are more powerful than the flower absolutely the lotus is less absolutely. powerful than the no two leaves absolutely no doubt about that No doubt Zaka, about that. Huh? Zaka, let, 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 yeah. let him, yeah, let him Zaka. answer that. Aims, Leaves have to come first yeah, before yeah, the lotus yeah, blooms. Yeah, aims, aims is nothing but off-budget expenses. That is what aims Tamil Nadu is for, and it, it was accepted by the Tamil Nadu government, and it is with the Jika. It will come. because it was in of of budget Ben, expenses sir, we will bring it we will bring it to all first of all first of all you should understand what is of budget expenses first of all you should understand what is of budget expenses number 2 it was the you know dmk and the congress which brought need and they say that they will remove need it was the B- dmk and the congress which brought nedwasal and they say they will fight against nedwasal it was the dmk which brought uh, sterlite they now they are uh, going against uh, uh, sterlite so if you see the double standards of dmk as well as congress they are the betrayers of tamils tamil nadu 
and they have been backstabbing Tamils. Okay. That Jella, is what happened. No, no, Jella, no, no, I, Jella, I, I, you know how much money BJP got? No, no, no. Let me finish this. Okay. Let me finish this. Okay. You know, really. see, Mr. Narayan Tirupati was speaking about Sterlight. You know how much donation BJP got from Sterlight? 300 crores for what? I am only for shooting, asking you. For shooting I am only 13 asking people you. Okay. in the state no, no. of Tamil Nadu. How much you got from Narayan? They got 300 crores. Who was responsible? I want to come to the very last. I want to come to the very last of the show. You say that we will bring aims. You have to come to power in the centre first. Absolutely, sir. You are not. You are not in a position to do that. We will do that. Come June 4th. Sir, everybody is saying yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell Congress you, I'll tell will you not this. cross 100 seats. No, Zata, that is the perception they want to build. I'll tell you. And BJP that, will cross 400. Why? I'll, tell I'll, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because they are losing seats in Karnataka. They are losing seats in Maharashtra. They are losing seats in Bihar. If good they dream, lose seats, there, where will they get those okay, seats? Okay, final, final word. We are not doing the show in Maharashtra or in Bihar. We are doing this show in Tamil Nadu. So I want to get, I want to get, I want to get a, I want to get a, a number crunch from the panelists. How much for the DMK alliance and how much for the BJP and ADMK? Let me start right to left. Let's be so wrong. So in Tamil Nadu, in Tamil Nadu it is yeah. 39 in Tamil Nadu 39. plus 1 in okay. Pondicherry. It's 40 out of 40. 40 zero. Take okay, my word. 40 out of 40. We 40 will win out of 40. 40. Mr. Dhirupati. We are targeting 25 seats before, even before one year. 100 25 BJP. seats. Yes. In Timbuk too? Okay. Our alliance is with the people of Tamil Nadu and I believe the people of Tamil Nadu want 40 seats for AIDMK and they want to wish the evil I do away. want to ask the audience, show of hands, how many of you believe, Mr. Tirupati, that BJP will get 25 seats? 1, 2, 3, okay. How many of you believe, Apsara Reddy, that AIDMK will get 40 seats? No hands. How many of you believe, Saranan and Lakshmi Ramachandran, that they will get 40 zero? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. We we'll leave it at that. I guess, I guess, no, 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 it's not a dipstick, it's not a dipstick, I'm sorry, no, no, this is an urban constituency, it's Chennai, it accounts for just three seats, but ultimately, like I said, the battle lines seem to be drawn here in the state of Tamil Nadu because it's not just about the Dravidian politics for the last 50 years split between the DMK and the ADMK, the question is, can the BJP make inroads? The BJP certainly feels it can and that a large majority of people here are sick and tired of this oscillating, revolving door between the two Dravidian parties. But is that translating on ground? Both the Dravidian parties seem to think it's not translating on the ground. It's restricted to Twitter and television channels. So it's a humble appeal from CNN News 18 to all the voters of Tamil Nadu. Please go out and vote. Cast your franchise. It's the one privilege, the one right that you have once in five years. So don't forget to exercise that. If you've been tuned into this special broadcast here on CNN News 18, live from Chennai at this beautiful location at the ITC Grand Chola, from me, Zaka Jacob, and the rest of the team, thank you for your time. Good night. So our first story today is a rather special one. It's one that we discovered right here in our backyard in Noida. Just a few minutes away from our studios is a special little school where you have hundreds of students who are going to be receiving education. This is students with lesser access. Each batch is about 40 students large. They make the yummiest meals from scratch. Just close your eyes. Imagine balu shai, chow mein, fluffy bread rolls. Are, hold on, hold on, Toya. Stop getting carried away by the food. Khabar kya hai? Ye bhi to bata de apne viewers ko. It's not just the food, of course. These students are taught how to envision new business models from scratch. Right from ideation to execution, this little academy finds eager students, it trains them, and then it places them into employment. So it's an end-to-end -end program. So we're super excited to get to know how so many young people were getting this kind of training. So they could essentially be entirely self-reliant in just a span of a few months, sometimes three, sometimes four, based on the course. It led us to take a deep dive as we discovered the kind of efforts that we've been seeing going on in the field of skill development mm. across the country over the last few years. That's right. And it's much needed, no? Because India, there are about... 808 million youth, young people below the age of 80, below the age of 35, 
and data suggests that mm. only about 5% of them are formally trained. What that means is that you sometimes have even graduates who aren't prepared for how competitive the job market really is. The tricky thing is, I mean, you and I both know the job market is a terrifying place if you're a young person. Now, the great thing is that this is something that government after government has tried to work on over the last few years. The Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana was launched in 2015, so a few years ago, and it had one goal, skilling the entire country. Because for most young Indians, the, the tricky part, paying for building employability, which means paying to get the skills that you need so that you can be employed. That's actually the trickiest part. That's where this mission steps in. You've got so far till date, we talked about 2015 it's starting, till date 1 crore 37 lakh people that have been trained under the scheme. That's right, but we need to get into more details right now. You are in the news now because of this viral clip. Yesterday, Prime Minister also reacted saying that people of Tamil Nadu will uh, reject you and give you a befitting reply. What do you have to say about this whole joker comment? See, I still stand by my comment. One of the biggest jokers we have in Tamil Nadu is Sanavari. He is the heaven for meme creators in uh, Tamil Nadu because he keeps talking, saying something in the morning, shifts to another uh, position in the evening. And we really enjoy his uh, comical uh, work in I think We would like BJP to extend him here, more term here, to make sure he makes Tamil Nadu people but laugh. You don't think he, he's taken seriously as a politician in this state? How can you take a person like Anna Mali seriously? No. There's a, there are qualities for a leadership. You should be consistent, you should be dignified. You cannot be, behave like a joker. What he does is he's trying to, he wants to be in the news. Because there's a space, four column space reserved the newspaper. There's a time give along, reserved for him by BJP in the, all the TV channels. So he's forced to talk every day and he's making a fool of himself. First story today is a rather special one. It's one that we discovered right here in our backyard in Noida. Just a few minutes away from our studios is a special little school where you have hundreds of students who are going to be receiving education. This is students with lesser access. Each batch is about 40 students large. They make the yummiest meals from scratch. Just close your eyes, imagine balushai, chow mein, fluffy bread rolls. Yesterday, the PM also raised this in the rally. One of the DMK candidates has called your state party president a joker. The PM says people of Tamil Nadu will give a befitting reply to that. Yeah, what do you have to say for that? He's a maker of, maker of uh, party and uh, he has uh, toiled hard. He has come from the basic level, from a village to that. So, dynasts won't understand that, that hard work. And uh, he, say almost uh, as a youngster, it happened only in BJP. In DMK, can you uh, mention one person like that? There should be some, uh, some person's daughter or some person's son. Whether it is, who is Dayanidhi? Without uh, knowing that he is Murasuli Maran's son, will Dayanidhi will have a very big exposure? No. Who is Kanimuli? And who is Narchane candidate Kalanidhi? And who is Vellur candidate uh, Murugan? All are uh, Sudhir Murugan. All are Dainas. And I am uh, telling that they are more afraid of BJP, so only they are commenting like that. First story today is a rather special one. It's one that we discovered right here in our backyard in Noida. 
Just a few minutes away from our studios is a special little school where you have hundreds of students who are going to be receiving education. This is students with lesser access. Each batch is about 40 students large. They make the yummiest meals from scratch. Just close your eyes, imagine balu shai, chow mein, fluffy bread rolls. Are, hold on, hold on Toya, stop getting carried away by the food. Khabar kya hai, ye bhi to bata de apne viewers ko. It's not just the food, of course. These students are taught how to envision new business models from scratch. Right from ideation to execution, this little academy finds eager students, it trains them and then it places them into employment. So it's an end-to-end -end program. So we're super excited to get to know how so many young people were getting this... Stands with Prime Minister Modi. Public say Modi is a bad. Public is the biggest liar. Why did they give Kachet Divu? On what compulsion they give the land of Tamil Nadu to Sri Lanka? One of the biggest jokers we have in Tamil Nadu is Anwar. Income tax, CPI, and ED. Very unfortunate that how these three offices are completely misused. Narendra Modi ji has tried to enlarge the acceptability of the BJP. So Jagan has to pack his bags and he has to uh, walk around courts. Central Jail is waiting for him, I think. First story today is a rather special one. It's one that we discovered right here in our backyard in Noida. Just a few minutes away from our studios is a special little school where you have hundreds of students who are going to be receiving education. This is students with lesser access. Each batch is about 40 students large. They make the yummiest meals from scratch. Just close your eyes. Imagine balu shai, chow mein, fluffy bread rolls. Are, hold on, hold on Toya, stop getting carried away by the food. Khabar kya hai, ye bhi to bata de apne viewers ko. It's not just the food of course, these students are taught how to envision new business models from scratch. Right from ideation to execution, this little academy finds eager students, it trains them and then it places them into employment. So it's an end-to-end -end program. So we're super excited to get to know how so many young people were getting this kind of training. So they could essentially be entirely self-reliant in just a span of a few months, sometimes three, sometimes four, based on the course. It led us to take a deep dive as we discovered the kind of efforts that we've been seeing going on in the field of skill development mm. across the country over the last few years. That's right. And it's much needed, no? Because India, there are about... 808 million youth, young people below the age of 80, below the age of 35, and data suggests that mm. only about 5% of them.
infrastructure. So our first story today is a rather special one. It's one that we discovered right here in our backyard in Noida. Just a few minutes away from our studios is a special little school where you have hundreds of students who are going to be receiving education. This is students with lesser access. Each batch is about 40 students large. They make the yummiest meals from scratch. Just close your eyes. Imagine balu shai, chow mein, fluffy bread rolls. Are, hold on, hold on, Toya. Stop getting carried away by the food. Khabar kya hai? Ye bhi to bata de apne viewers ko. It's not just the food, of course. These students are taught how to envision new business models from scratch. Right from ideation to execution, this little academy finds eager students, it trains them, and then it places them into employment. So it's an end to end program. So we're super excited to get to know how. Hello Namaskar, this is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. West Asia is on a knife edge. Iran says it wants to punish Israel. The US says an attack is being planned and airlines say we are cancelling flights. So all the signs are there. Is Iran planning to go to war with Israel directly? More importantly, can the region afford a second or a wider conflict? We look at the possible consequences. Meanwhile, gold prices have touched a record high. Central banks across the world are buying gold in large quantities. What does this mean for you, the consumer, and why are, are they doing it in the first place? In Washington, the US and Japan are upgrading their relationship. Why is India sending defense attaches to global South countries? How is the AI race heating up? What does India's Prime Minister have to say about China? Why are doctors in Kenya on strike? How Rishi Sunak's choice of sneakers has led to an uproar? And finally, do you have a love-hate relationship with your sibling? We'll tell you why they're so important in our lives. All this and more coming up. The headlines first. In India, controversy erupts in Rahul Gandhi's constituency, Vayanad. The BJP's Kerala president, who is taking on the Congress leader, says if he wins the election, he will change the name of a town associated with Tipu Sultan. The, the town got its name after the Muslim ruler invaded the region in the 1700s. Mali's junta suspends all activities by political parties, saying the move is to maintain public order. On the 1st of April, more than 80 political parties had issued a joint statement calling for presidential elections. The West African country has been under military rule since 2020. Ukrainian parliament approves an army mobilization law to boost troop numbers. Earlier this month, President Zelensky had lowered the mobilization age from 27 to 25. The Ukrainian military is on the back foot as Russia intensifies its offensive. In South Korea, the opposition sweeps the National Assembly elections. The leader of the ruling opposition, the ruling party, resigns. South Korean President Yoon Soo Kyol promises reforms. Yoon still has three years left in office, but the results have turned him into a lame duck president. And a billionaire property tycoon is sentenced to death in Vietnam. Truong Mai Lan was found guilty in a multi-billion dollar fraud case. It is one of the biggest corruption cases in Vietnam's history. Is West Asia preparing for another war, a more devastating one? I ask because the indications are all there. US and Israeli forces are on high alert. Iran is talking about punishing Israel. Flights on the route are being cancelled and frantic diploma diplomatic activity is underway. All the classic signs that something big is about to happen. The question is, what? U.S. officials think that Iran will attack Israel. It could be a major missile strike or a drone attack, and it's a very confident assessment. One official said it's a question of when, not if. But why is Iran escalating? Because of what happened last week. An Israeli strike hit the Iranian consulate in Syria. Seven Iranian soldiers were killed, including two top commanders. And since then, Iran